When performing the Yamani technique, you want to select an IOL that has a relatively flat haptic angle, and I'm referring to the distal aspect of the haptic. And that is the case for the Johnson & Johnson ZA9003, as well as of the Zeiss CT Lucia. You can see the relatively flat haptic angle. There are some lenses like the Alcon MA60AC that has more of a steep haptic angle. And you want to ideally avoid this kind of haptic angle when performing the Yamani technique because it will make cannulation of the haptic through the 30 gauge TSK needle more difficult. Whereas conversely, if you have a relatively flat haptic angle like with the ZA9003 or the Zeiss CT Lucia, it will make cannulation much easier. And I'm highlighting this in this image here. You've got your 30 gauge TSK needle and that relatively flat profile is more likely going to be parallel to the lumen of the 30 gauge TSK needle. What you don't want is this steep angle that I'm showing you here with the MA60AC. It'll make cannulation much more difficult. It's still doable, but much more difficult. And so in Yamani techniques, I always recommend either the ZA9003 or the Zeiss CT Lucia specifically for the uh, relatively flat haptic angle. I hope you found this video to be useful and thanks for watching.